is we can hit the drop down here and we can we can break out the range which is a year right now by days that would be quite long if you had a whole year weeks months is more common quarters is going to be quite common if you have a whole year's worth of data years or you can break it out by customer vendors employees products and services so let's start with the quarters if we break this one out by quarter and run it now we didn't have any activity in the first couple quarters but you can see the idea here now we've got the activity for the last couple quarters and the total now note it gives you a total column because the income statement is a timing statement it has a beginning and an end we're seeing how far we went in a particular time this is different than the balance sheet you'll recall let's just check that out for references sake back to the balance sheet and put this one on quarters run it there's no total column because the balance sheet is as of a point in time so whenever you're applying these tools to any report you want to think am i using a report that is reporting as of a point in time or has a time frame like the income statement back to the income statement now we could of course do that for different time frames the other common one would be months so if we broke this out by month then we've got our month by month comparison 12 months gets quite extensive so <laughs> And then you've got, you could break it out basically by customers. So that's a little bit, you know, less usual. So now you've got your columns up top, breaking out the information by customer. 